Hey guys, Dave here of Dulce Destiny. Welcome back for another godly Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. Today we're going to open 70 blister packs. And guys, for those of you new to the channel, make sure to subscribe below, like the video, helps us out by producing more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content for you guys going forward. So guys, let's go over here and take a look. This is going to be pretty epic. We've got Dragons of Legend. We've got Rising Rampage. Ignition Assault. We've got Rage of Raw, Legend of Blue Eyes, Invasion of Chaos, Dark Crisis, Spell Ruler, Pharaoh Servant. This is going to be a pretty epic opening. 70 blister packs. We may have gone a little overboard on this one, but it's all for you guys. So we're going to open this, get some epic pulls, and I want you guys to be there with me when we get them. We've pre-opened the packaging so we don't have to waste any time on that. We're going to get into this and we're going to go through first the loose foils that came with all the blisters. We got some interesting cards. A couple ultras, a couple secret rares. We did get a Noble Knight card, which is from the King Arthur Noble Knights of the Round Table storyline that does exist in Yu-Gi-Oh. Bunch of Gookies and Cybers cards. We did get a God card, Obelisk Tormentor, pretty cool, from uh, YGLD. And then from some of the special edition Ignition Assault packs, we got the uh, Electromagnetic Turtles, and then we did get the token from the Duelist Kingdom tournament in Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1, so that was kind of cool. So let's set those over here, and let's get into the other packs. Okay, so we're going to start with the Dragon's Legend Complete Series, just because this is an interesting set. And we're going to go kind of pretty quick on this one. So, interesting. So we got Seal of Orcal, uh, I'm not going to pronounce that, Paladin of Dark Dragon, Curry Bandit. Very cool. And we'll kind of go back over the cards at the end of the video as well. We've got a lot of packs to open. We're going to try and not waste a lot of your guys' time today. So, Toon Mask. Very cool. Legendary Knight Tamias. Rank up magic, quick chaos, very cool. Red eyes burn, goddess bow. All right, so that was the Dragon's Legend. So we're gonna go through this time, we're gonna go through, let's do Rage of Ra. See if we can pull a ghost rare. Blaze Cannon. And again, Rage of Ra is a set where uh, you're not guaranteed to get a foil. One more Rage of Raw. Cyber Energy Shock. All right, let's do uh, Metal Raiders next. And guys, we're just grabbing these totally at random order. They're all very awesome sets. Whoa! Metal Raiders Ultra Rare Barrel Dragon. Exactly that. <laughs> wow. We had one Metal Raider pack. We gotta sleeve that up. Okay, so we got White Magical Hat. Holy shnikey. Dang. I cannot believe that. Borders look excellent. Wow. Holy moly. All right. Let's go Breakers of Shadow. Whew. We're already starting hot, guys. I was not expecting that. Dino Mist Rex. A Gaia card. Buster Blader Sport cards. Let's go Mystic Fighters next. Wow. Can't believe we pulled that Barrel Dragon, guys. Math Mech Subtraction. So these are all foils in this set. Dragon Ravine, Math Mech. Dragon Made Lorepar. My wife wants to do a Dragon Made deck, possibly. So that's a card that she might like there. Let's do uh, next dual overload. This is a first edition dual overload. In dual overload, what we're looking for is a Predator Plant. Basically, that's the value card in there. So we got Abyss Actor, Hollow Giants, Awakening of the Possessed, Cubic Dharma, and Dangerous Frightfur Nightmare. Next, we've got the Infinity Chasers, first edition. I feel like, guys, this is going to be an epic opening, so stay with me to the end. Witchcrafter, Witchcrafter, Evil Eye, 
Mesmerism. All right. So next, let's do Dimension of Chaos. Dimension of Chaos is one of my favorite sets. We've pulled uh, quite a few ultimate rares from Dimension of Chaos, actually. No foil on that one. So we got three Dimension of Chaos packs total. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Whoa, there we go. Secret rare, Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. And Super Soldier Ritual. Let's sleeve that guy up. Starting off strong. All right, last pack of Dimension of Chaos. Dox is the card acronym. We have pulled fire from Dox in the past. And there's another ultra rare, so Ignite Reload. Very slick. All right. Let's do Rising Rampage next. I actually have not opened Rising Rampage, guys. In a very, I don't think ever. So we got Shaman of the Tinyi. Okay, guys, next pack of Rising Rampage. I feel like we're pulling pretty good cards so far. Ooh, Secret Rare, Gizmak Oraki, the Serpentron Sky Slasher. That's a mouthful, holy, holy moly there. All right, last pack of Rising Rampage. Link Mail Archfiend, Cyber's card. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the Secret Forces. All foil pack. Ritual Beast Tamer Wind. Ritual Beast Ste uh, Steeds. Spiritual Beast Petalfin. It's a Petalfin. Ascending Soul. Dijin, Presider of Rituals. Next pack of the Secret Forces. Necroz Mirror. Shirut, Strategist of the Necros, Ritual Beast's Bond, Dijin, Soul Release. All right, let's move on now to Toon Chaos. I love Toon Chaos. I've pulled two collector's rares from the set. Uh, fortunately, these are unlimited Toon Chaos, but that's okay. The interesting thing about Toon Chaos was they were all rares. There were no commons. So there is a super rare Chaos Space. I always have to look real close because we pulled a collector rare chaos space one time and didn't even realize it because it looks so similar to the collector's rare version next pack so i'd say we're maybe almost halfway through the opening so we got valkyrie sigrun pot of desires got two more packs of tune chaos guys Supervise, Micro Coder, last pack, can this be a collector's rare, send me some good vibes, oh, I pulled a collector rare blacklist soldier, I was like, oh, wait a minute, okay, we got a falafel, because they're so fluffy, all right, so that was our Toon Chaos, let's move on now to... Let's do Rise of the Duelist. I love Rise of the Duelist. In here, we are looking for a Starlight Rare. Ooh, so I'll take that. So Ultra Rare Dogmatica Elysia, the Virtuous. Dogmatica cards are pretty popular. Let's uh, sleeve that one up. Pretty cool. These are first edition Rise of the Duelist. Another ultra rare. So we got Seligalair, the Luminous Lunar Dragon. Not a not very valuable card, but we'll take it. Last Rise of the Duelist pack. Infernoble Arms Duran Durandal. I think that's a, one of the valuable ultra rares in the set. I don't remember. 
All right, let's move on to ignition assault. Secret rare plunder patrol ship Moark. Interesting. We got a bunch of ignition assault. These all came from the special edition that we got from Wally World. Megalith Ophion. Pretty cool super. Last, uh, well, we got more. Megalith Aerotron. Very cool. Okay, so let's get into this next pack of Ignition Assault. So we've got about five packs left or so. There are Ghost Rares in Ignition Assault, so I don't know if we'll get one. So we've got Karuki Super Shogun MDL. Zuzer in boo, that's a mouthful. Send some vibes my ways, guys. There's basically in this one, I think the main ghost rare we would be looking for would be the Starlight Dragon. So we got Light Dragon Igniter. Pretty cool. And these are not first edition, but I think the ghost rare is still would hold some value. All right, so we got you to guard a generator boss of delusion. Pretty cool. Jack O'Bolan. Halloween type card. It's October, kind of good timing. All right, I think we're out. Oh, we already pulled that one, so I'm just gonna put that off to the side there. That was the uh, Super Shogun MDI. All right, Light Dragon Investor, another one we've already pulled. Now later Archfiend, that's a pretty cool card. Looks like another similar duplicate pack. We've already pulled him as well. So Megalith, Aerotron. Pretty cool artwork though. Last pack of Ignition Assault, guys. Whew, that's a cool ultra to end on. So we got Sky Striker Ace Rose. Very cool. First edition too. I didn't realize that was the first edition pack. All right, so we've got some of the cool packs left, guys. But if you notice that we've got classic vintage packs. So we've got, uh, except for Eternity Code. So let's do Eternity Code first. We're gonna save all the vintage packs for last and we'll do the Speed Duel packs last. So let's get into our first pack of Eternity Code here. In Eternity Code, hopefully we would be able to also pull a Starlight Rare. They are in there. So we got Area Water Charmer Gentle. That's a very slick hollow, actually. Very cool picture. Loving that. Kind of fix those over there. And again, stay with me till the end, guys, because we will go back through all of the pulls at the end of the video. Uh, Gachiri Igneister, another cool piece of artwork there. All right, Pinpoint Dash. Gasari Igneister. Pretty neat little sword. I noticed like all these Eternity Codes are the ones with the uh, security thing on. That's interesting. AIQ, Invoked. Not even gonna try and say that name. I'll go up. Augitis, Augoitis, I don't know. Probably butchered that. Wow, yeah, every single one of these. I wonder if our Walmart had problems with people stealing these. These are, because we bought most of these at Walmart. 
Uh, we've got Marincess Great Bubble Reef. Pretty cool. All right, three more of Eternity Code. Can we pull a Starlight Rare Nemesis Flag? I feel like the foils in Eternity Code are all very, very shiny. A lot of metal content. There we go. Uh, we got Medolce Salon, ultra rare. Pretty cool. Never tried a Medolce uh, deck. That'd be interesting. Kind of, uh, Medolce kind of reminds me of Dragon Maids in a way. They're kind of very similar artwork. All right, last pack of Eternity Code. Upside down, apparently. And we got Nemesis Umbrella. Pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna move this massive pile of commons out of the way. So guys, send me some epic vibes because we're gonna get into the vintage packs. And in there, we're looking for hopefully some pretty cool cards. Let's get into it. Let's start with Shining Victories because I've not opened up a lot of Shining Victories. And here, I think we're looking for the Blue Eyes Shining Dragon, if I remember correctly. Morphage Goliath, pretty cool. Pendulum card. It's too bad pendulums aren't super great in competitive decks. I've tried to play pendulum decks a few times and they're very hard to make competitive. Uh, Cosmo Scaredy Lion. <laughs> That's a <laughs> pretty <laughs> interesting card. Reedy Cycle, interesting. All right, come on, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. That would be cool. Not expecting anything out of these packs. It's very hard to pull like really good cards out of these packs. Assault Blackwing, just because they're random blisters. Not first edition, so value-wise, we're not looking at like a lot of value. And another uh, Amorphage Goliath, so we're not gonna look at that one too much. Bummer. All right, one last Shining Victories, come on. Our Walmart has not been super awesome to us, but actually I think these Shining Victories came out of the Target random pack. So okay, there we go. I like that one. So we got Red Eyes Toon Dragon. I like that. I always love the Red Eyes card. Look at that red eye on the camera, there we go. That's beautiful. Pretty slick. I'll take it. All right, so that's Shining Victories. So because Invasion of Chaos is my favorite pack, uh, let's do that one next, actually, because we've not opened up a lot of Dark Crisis or Spell Ruler, so we're gonna save those to the end here. So what I'm hoping out of here is basically a Black Luster Soldier would be pretty cool. So we got Mad Dog, no foil, or a, we already pulled Chaos Emperor Dragon out of here before. I'd really like to see a Black Luster Soldier, Stray Lambs, rare, nothing special there. Or another cool card that we could get out of here would be Black, uh, I think it's Black Tyranno. Uh, Lacunga Rare, not that interesting. There we go. Dark Triceratops Rare. All right, so nothing great out of Invasion of Chaos. That's kind of a bummer. Let's do Pharaoh's Servant, see if we can pull like a Jinzo. That would be kind of cool. I think it would basically be a Jinzo Secret Rare. Oh, there we go. We got Imperial Order Secret Rare. That is a very classic card. You'll notice that the foil is basically just on his robe and the rest of the card is really not foil other than like the spikes. That is a very, wow. Okay, we're gonna sleeve that guy up. I don't know the value on that, but being a, it's a Secret Rare, and Pharaoh's Servant, I'm assuming it holds some pretty good value. The borders looked pretty good on that also. Okay, so I, I feel like we're kind of turning up the heat here. Uh, there we go, Grave Robber Super Rare. Classic Joey card from the season one of Yu-Gi-Oh. He played that quite a number of times in a lot of duels that he played. We're gonna sleeve that up as well.
last pack of Pharaoh's Servant. So actually last time, if you guys remember, the last Pharaoh's Servant opening I did, we opened like 10 Pharaoh's Servant and it was like the worst opening ever. So I think this is actually going a lot better so far. I feel like Pharaoh's Servant is kind of giving back to me. Gravity Bind. Dark Bat. Very interesting. Okay. So that was Pharaoh's Servant. So guys, left. What we have left is basically Dark Crisis. And I just knocked Time Wizard tomorrow off the edge of the world. There. That was our Dragon's Legend card. We're going to leave him in the pack. Let's do Spell Ruler last. Let's dig into Dark Crisis. See if we can pull a... I think it's an Exodia Necros would be a cool card to pull. Fear from the Dark. Ujama Green. Butterfly Dagger Elma. Pretty interesting. Guardian Bowel. We're gonna sleeve that up just because anytime we get like a foil card from a classic pack, so I sleeve those guys up. Interdimensional Matter Transporter. There we go. Very cool ultra rare from the Dark Crisis set. Borders on that one look pretty good. I don't know about the back. Back looks pretty good. All right, we got a, one more Dark Crisis and then we actually have, I think, I, oh, I added under there. We got some Blue Eyes White Dragon boosters. Uh, different Dimension Gate Rare. All right, so we've got Three Blue Eyes White Dragons. I would love to actually pull Blue Eyes from this pack. We've pulled Monster Reborn. We've pulled Swords of Revealing Light. We've pulled about a million and one Pot of Greeds. Not too interesting. Although funny enough, the Pot of Greed from Blue Eyes still holds like a dollar, three dollars. Somewhere I think between a dollar and three dollars in value. Whoa, okay. Look at that. Secret Rare Trihorn Dragon. The LOB000, that is, I don't know if that's the only secret rare in the set. 82 commons, 22 rares, 10 super rares, 10 ultra rares, and two secret rares. So we just pulled the one of two secret rares from the Legend of Blue Eyes from a blister pack. The borders suck. <laughs> Left to right, they're way off. Holy cow. I don't think I've pulled this many secret rares from legacy packs before. The vibes must be with me from all of you watching this video. Hopefully from those of you that are subscribed, if you haven't, make sure to do that. Uh, we got Goblin's Secret Remedy, rare. But I will take that. We pulled a secret rare from Blue Eyes. All right, so Spell Ruler next. I don't quite remember what's in the Spell Ruler set. Uh, Relinquished might be in here. Flying Kamakari. Little insect bug, probably a, a weeble card, probably. All right, these are the last of our boosters, guys. Cyber Jar. Stay with me till the end. We will go over all the pulls that we got. Painful Choice, super rare, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and sleeve that guy up. Horn of the Unicorn for our rare. Spell Ruler has two potential secret rares. Turtle Oath. Rush Recklessy. All right, last pack. This one feels kind of light. I'm developing the force. Oh, there we go. Invader of Throne. Super rare. That's a pretty cool piece of artwork. And then we have Mother Grizzly for our rare. Very cool. All right, so that was all of our primary blisters. The ones we have left are basically speed duel packs. So we're gonna save this very cool with a Magician of Black Chaos for last. We're gonna see kind of what we can get out of here. 
I don't really particularly care for the Speed Duel cards. They do have a higher quality, it seems like. They're, I don't know, these are pretty glossy. Looks like we did get a super rare, that's pretty cool. Dark Red Enchanter, Spellcaster card. That's actually really cool, because I like Spellcaster cards quite a lot. We're gonna just leave that. I don't know about the value on that, but it seems like the Speed Duel cards are just a higher quality print for some reason. All right. <laughs> okay, we got a Barrel Dragon from a Speed Duel pack. First edition. Barrel Dragon is with us today, guys. Look at that. Wow. Holy moly. Super rare, though. I'm surprised they actually printed that as a super rare in the set. I have no idea if that's valuable or not. Probably not. We'll see. All right, last pack. We got Black uh, Magician of Black Chaos with Yugi Boy, actually Yami Yugi, on the pack with us. And Crazy Fish, so nothing special in that one. I don't know if you guys can tell though, if you look at a kind of the printing difference. These are, I don't know if you can tell on the camera. This is a lot more glossy. I don't think we can see it through the camera a bit. In person, it's actually a pretty big difference. And it feels thicker and more durable as well. So let's, uh, guys, that was pretty epic. So let's, I'm gonna go through these real quick, just show you, and uh, then we'll end the video off on a good note. So let's take a look at all these. So let's kind of go through our good pulls last. And this is the big stack of foils that we just got. I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve up Red Eyes Toon Dragon just because I like that card so, so much. I really don't want to damage that. All right, so we got Red Eyes Toon Dragon. That was pretty cool. And then I'll just kind of slide through these. Sky Striker Ace, I'm gonna set her off to the side there. Jackal Bolon. Megalith cards. Plunder Patrol Ship Mower, Secret Rear. I have no idea if that's valuable. Infernal Arms Dorindle. I'm gonna set that off to the side. I think that holds some value. Some of these cards I've seen quite a bit from openings we've done. Chaos Space holds about four or five dollar value. Necroz Mirror, Secret Rare might hold some value. Soul Release, we've got Ritual Beast Tamer Wind might hold some value. We will have values up on the screen for you guys. We've got a Gizmet card, Shaman of Tinny, Evil Eye. Got some pretty cool cards on this opening. Dangerous, Fright for Nightmare. Blaze Cannon. This one, funny enough, actually started off as a $12 card. Uh, Toon Mask. But um, I think the Seal of or I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. That might hold some value from Dragon's Legend. Paladin of Dark Dragon, just a very cool card. And then Curry, Curry Bandit. All right, so our epic pools, at least in my mind anyway. So we've got Red Eyes, Toon Dragon, Barrel Dragon from the Speed Duel pack. That is epic. Dark Red Enchanter, Invader Throne, Painful Choice. These are all legacy pulls. Trihorned Dragon. Interdimensional Matter Transporter. Butterfly Dagger Elma. Grave Robber, Joey Card. Secret Rare, Imperial Order. Dogmatica Ecclesia, that's like a $20 card right there. Dogmatica cards hold good value. Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend, which does come as a ghost rare in the set. We pulled the secret. This is about a four to $5 card. And then Barrel Dragon as a near mint unlimited is about a $10 card, give or take a dollar or two. So guys, thank you for sending good vibes this way. I don't know if we necessarily made any value back because this was like probably a couple hundred dollar opening, but we wanted to do it for you guys and we really appreciate you guys supporting our channel. And again, if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing below so we can do more epic content like this. It supports our channel, supports us. We also do have some cards up on our TCG player. We'll put the link below. And guys, like that video for me, and we'll see you next time.